Okay, everyone, just wanted to make a video on um, just really the basics of auction market theory, which is what I trade. I do not trade market profile. It is not an indicator. Uh, also, uh, enlarge the uh, video because this will be in HD. So what do I have for you right here? I have for you a balance area. And this is what you see on a profile. You usually see these bulges uh, each day, something like that. But uh, on a bar chart, what does this look like? It looks something like this. You know, we have these market running higher and then it coming down, trading around here, 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 whatever, coming down here, 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 here. All this shows is that these are unfair lows, which is shown by low volume. And these are unfair highs, shown by low volume. And then there is a point in the, usually near the middle, where there's a lot of volume. And the trick to this is taking the right trades at the right points, which are the high and low uh, volume areas. So let's just go to present day market. You're looking at the Russell 2000. Now, how is this shown on a bar chart? You can see it right here, a balance area. You can see we have unfair highs here and unfair lows here, and we have a lot of volume traded in the middle. And we will show that by putting on a little profile right here. We have unfair highs and unfair lows and a bulge of volume in the middle. Now the trick is trading at the extremes, which are the 95s in this case and the 93s in this case. And when you trade at these extremes, your risk to reward increases greatly. And you will also be able to find key uh, key areas on the profile, which are shown by single prints. I mean, uh, buying, uh, selling tails, uh, buying tails. Here's another selling tail, and then the high volume notes and the highs of days and stuff like that. So uh, I'm just going to go over an example trade I made in oil today. I uh, entered it right over here. So you, l let's just go through an overview of what was going through my mind in this trade. We knew we had balance here. We had an unfair high and an unfair low. So you want to be taking trades in and around these areas. Let's extend this a bit. It's, it began to break out and we built value lower. That means that the market is officially in a downtrend. Once that was broken and we built value higher, and we got accepted back into this value area, which means that there is a buyer stepping in as prices went lower. Usually when a market breaks out one way, fails, and gets accepted back into the volume, it's going to go to the other side. And that's just a known fact. And that's kind of what I was playing. So what I did was I used the big profile, which is this one right here, and what I did was I took a trade at the extreme of it, but also at the extreme of a smaller one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the trade at the extreme of the smaller one and have the risk of that, but the reward of the big one, which is right here. So uh, going into the types of trades, there are two types of trades you can make. Responsive, which is buying, uh, buying this end of the uh, profile or uh, selling this high so you're going against the trend or uh, being initiative which is selling the break and buying the break of the other side um, what I was doing was I was buying the responsive trade in this profile with the risk of it and I was also buying kind of an initiative slash responsive trade because I was looking for it to go initiative here but I was buying against the the overall downtrend. So remember this, I had the risk of about uh, 15 cents of or $150, but I had the reward of potentially 500, 1,000, and uh, it goes on. Really your minimum target is the high volume note of the profile so your minimum target was 800 that's about five to one 
So that means you could have four, four losing trades in a row and have one winning trade which will put you on the winning scale. That takes a lot of emotion out of trading. I'll give another example. In gold here, I bought, and really this is a real trade, uh, and I still have it marked actually. You can see this red line I drew right there. I bought this right here. I, and I didn't have to be a magician to do that. All I knew was that we had an unfair high here and an unfair low here. Gold was overall in an uptrend, which you could see by value building higher. So you want to be a buyer either way, either the break of this or or a buyer down here. All I had was a stop down here of about a hundred bucks, one point, but my potential reward was sixty to sixty nine, which is about five hundred and higher. A lot of traders they trade in the, these random areas, and that's what gets them killed. The risk to reward in these random areas are uh, are terrible. They're usually one to one or even worse. But when you're trading at extremes here and here, the risk to reward increases, and that's what really auction market theory is about. So let's go back to this again and go over the trades you can make. You can either take the responsive trade. Oh shoot. Let's uh, use this. The responsive trade, which is the sell here or the buy here. Or you could take the initiative trade, which is the buy up here and the sell down here. Or breakout trades. Uh, your stops for breakout trades are usually just above the low volume. Here. And for responsive trades, just above the high. Here or there. But your potentials is uh, for the initiative trade is the the length of this profile uh, in that direction, or responsive the length of the profile in that direction. When taking at the lower extreme and vice versa for the top extreme, the ideal trade in auction market theory are the ones where, let's say you buy it at this X that I'm drawing right here where you first have it as responsive but the market continu continues to go higher and where it breaks out and turns initiative those are the trades that are going to make your account explode literally by 20 percent and same on the other side where you short it near the high and you have a break low like think about it let's say your goal is to catch the high of the day you could try four times at let's say in gold at this extreme let's say this was the extreme it stops you out try it again here it stops you out you try it again here you stops you out you try it again here you've probably accumulated you know three losses of maybe a hundred and twenty dollars so that's a good you know three sixty to four hundred but one trade is gonna make that all back and think about it when you're entering short here you're gonna hold in until something says get out and that is indicated by a bounce area forming higher so you could see bounce kept forming lower nothing was saying sell until this thing broke right here so you want to be taking it off in and around this area so that's how much 1200 when you lost 400 so you're up 800 and that's how that's how you make your money you you're gonna have more losing trades at in the beginning and then big winners that wipe it all out and give you a lot more money in return and once you increase your knowledge about the market and your feel you'll be getting more winners and that's gonna increase your profits even more so that's the key really the key to trading properly like you in the long run you're not going to make money risking 50 to make 50 you have to be uh, risking less than you make uh, the a regular trade you're going to get is ones where you risk 50 to make 250 and then you will find some where you risk 50 to make a thousand and those are the trades that are going to make your day